Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and here on this channel we talk about writing, journaling, and productivity to help you curate a life that you love. So for today's scrapbook spread, we are doing a kind of, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to call this, look. Okay guys, my last few spreads, I've just kind of done them. And they don't really have a theme necessarily, I just keep doing them and um, then I name them afterwards. Anyway, for today's spread, I'm going to call it my cluttered scrapbook spread. One thing that I've seen a lot from other artists on TikTok or on Pinterest or just online in general, one thing they've been doing a lot is just kind of making really cluttered spreads and I'm loving it. It's like a junk journal aesthetic that I don't really play around with much and I, I'm here for it. But I wanted to have a lot of pockets in this little like spread, have a lot of pull out items and then also I just wanted to cram a ton of different papers, stickers, just anything and everything that I could think of onto the pages. Why? For the junk journal aesthetic. So before we get into today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more journaling tips, journaling content, and scrapbook stuff like this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright guys, so welcome back. <laughs> so this spread, like I said, is very cluttered. There is a lot going on and it's going to be pretty complicated. I mean, it's not really that complicated. I mean, anybody can achieve this. The goal, I think, um, when you set out to do a cluttered spread like this is to just put down as much as you possibly can when it comes to paper, stickers, um, pockets, everything. Just everything, just lay it on there. I'm going to try my best to link as many of these products as I can below, but I will say that it's going to be kind of challenging because there is just so much that goes into this spread. So I will try my best to link stickers, paper, um, these little envelopes, like stuff like that, stuff that you could purchase at the store, but other things like craft paper or any stencils and stuff, just it will, it, it's gonna be kind of hard. So if, if you don't find what you're looking for when it comes to products down in the description box below, I'm really sorry, but it was, this is, there's a lot going on here. I mean, I'm pretty sure I used every single item almost, or at least that's what it feels like when I made this spread. Every single item that I have in my collection was put into this spread. I mean, not, not literally, but it, that's what it feels like. So right now I am layering some pockets. I did take some of that uh, craft paper there where I have that little uh, map design, I guess is what it is. And I did put it on one of the pockets to kind of break up the space because two brown pockets next to each other kind of blended together. And I really wanted it to look like two separate things. Now I really wanted pockets off to the side because there's something that I really enjoy. I like having envelopes, I like having flip ups and stuff. I mean, if you've seen my interactive, journaling video or if you've seen any of my other spreads where I do these, you know that I'm absolutely in love with them. I think it really elevates the scrapbooking and art journaling experience to have a bunch of little flippy tabs and just unique little elements that you can pull out and interact with because it makes your journal more I don't know, interactive is the only word I have here, but I really wanna go for this idea that it makes it more personal and usable when it comes to flipping through you know, your past spreads. And I don't know, I just really like it. Because I find that flat spreads tend to be kind of boring. I mean, yeah, they're great to look at, and at times the informational ones can be very enjoyable. A lot of my Zodiac scrapbook spreads are actually pretty two-dimensional, but I really do enjoy the ones where I can flip open tabs or have little pockets or just, you know, have some element of interaction or like hidden um, paper or notes to it because it just feels more, I don't know, fun. <laughs> so right now I am layering some photos down on the side. Um, I got a lot of these from Canva, so that little postcard looking thing is from Canva. Um, this burnt paper is from Canva. I actually did try to burn paper recently to create the burnt edges look, and let me tell you, it backfired so bad. I had to, I sat outside and I just burned all the paper basically. It was um, kind of disappointing because I was really hoping to get this burnt edge look, but I, I did not achieve it. So if you guys have any tips on how to burn paper and actually make it look good, um, definitely leave a comment below because I'm struggling. <laughs> so 
I'm also using a bunch of different colors. Um, well, I say colors, but shades of one color. I have a lot of gray and brown going on in this spread. I do have a few like small pops of color, like this blue stamp that you just saw, and then like a pink, those pink roses off to the side. But mostly I try to keep it pretty neutral because I'm I love my neutrals. And I feel like when you're layering, it's good to start out with either one strong base color or just keep everything neutral until you start adding color later on. Um, I feel like it can be really easy to get a little crazy and your color palette can look like a mess, which to be fair, this whole spread looks like a mess or it will, but um, the goal of course is not to make it look like you made it a mess on accident. It's supposed to look very purposeful. So I tried very hard to strategically lay down these papers, the washi tapes, the stickers, and I tried to keep everything more muted because I felt like if I put too many bold, bright colors, it would everything would get lost and kind of look a little strange. I also put this little lady, like I printed her off from Canva and I put her on the paper as well, which is something I don't normally do. I don't really put people in my spreads and I feel like I said that last time with my Unoya spread, but I've been wanting to do it more often recently. A lot of people that I see on TikTok or um, on Pinterest, they put people like little characters in their spreads and I think it looks so cute. And while it's not necessarily my favorite thing and I wouldn't do it all the time, I did find it quite fun to, you know, look for something and then put it on the page. It just felt different. Um, I can't say it's my favorite thing to do, but it was definitely fun. So I'm also using a stamp, which was really great. And as you can see, everything is layered all crazy. And I had some trouble figuring out how to make this stamp fit in the space that I wanted it to. But overall, it's, it's starting to kind of come together. There's a lot going on and there will be more. Don't worry, there'll be more things going on um, because this entire spread is very cluttered and I don't have a better word for it. Coming up, I would love to take aspects of these cl this cluttered spread and move it into my everyday spreads, I guess you could say, or my normal ones. I have to admit, I'm not a fan of how cluttered everything looks. It's a bit too much for me personally. I do like some blank space, but I do like the aspect of layering because I don't really play with that as much when it comes to layering paper, layering colors, or like in this case, I'm using an index card and I have two different washi tapes on it, which look so cute. And I don't really do that. I typically do one washi tape, so things tend to be more minimal. And again, using the Unoya spread, which came out just before this one, I think it's a really easy way to compare the two because for one, the color palettes are very similar, the themes are very similar, but this one is more cluttered and the other one is much more minimal with a focus on journaling rather than on laying down as many stickers or papers that you possibly can, which is what this spread here is all about. Again, I don't know if I'm going to continue something like this in the future or not, but I did have a lot of fun laying down like little book snippets and stamps and just little doodads that really make this spread look like it's a mix of everything. All right, and that was the making of the cluttered junk journal spread. Um, when it comes to this particular spread, I'm sorry, my straps keep like, they're slipping all over the place. When it came to the spread, I, I don't know, I walked in with this goal to just kind of smash everything onto the pages. And then I was kind of surprised by how it turned out. Now, is it one of my favorites? Probably not. I know I don't normally say that in my videos, but um, this is definitely not one of my favorite spreads. I'm not sure I like the cluttered look so much. I kind of like the more curated look, the look that I take a lot of time to create and there's like an even amount of like filler space and blank space and color and um, form. Like I like to really focus on the overall look and this one was more about just really making it look cluttered and to have a lot of different like pockets and stuff that at first you don't think they're pockets and then they are and just, you know, the whole thing. And so I don't know if I totally love it, but it, I just really liked being able to do something different and <laughs> it was definitely fun. Will I do this in the future? Yeah, I don't really know, but it was fun to do. So anyway, let's stop talking and go ahead and get into the final flip through for this junk journal cluttered scrapbook spread thingy. All right, so here is the finished product. I did add some more stickers, and as you can see, there's a lot of brown and green going on. I tried a little bit harder toward the end to kind of tie in some color, and I also added a bunch of written elements and a few pull-out 
things, like this little flippy book looking thing. I I don't know what its purpose is to this to this day. And this is like a week after I have actually filmed this spread. Um, I still haven't written on that part. But I did write on that little long bookmark looking thing at the top. And I did write a bunch of quotes off to the side to kind of add a little bit more and to just kind of fill in the dead space. Um, again, it's very cluttered and this to me screams junk journal. Like I've never really done a junk journal before and this, honestly, it has to be junk journal. That's exactly what it is and it was definitely fun to experiment with. All right guys, and that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you like these <laughs> journaling and scrapbook spreads like this, please be sure to follow my channel. I have a bunch that I am putting up. I have a lot of ideas. So again, thank you. And uh, until next time, I will catch you later. Mm -hmm.